Hello everyone! The most amazing discoveries are believed to happen randomly. In this video, you'll see amazing places, outlandish objects, and messages from ancient times that people discovered only by lucky chance. Some of them will give you goosebumps, some make you smile and even jealous. But believe us, not a single find will leave you indifferent. Let's get it on. The depths of the ocean hide many secrets, but lucky people manage to discover them. All these cars and bikes were carried by the famous ship the SS Thistlegorm, a British cargo steamship sunk by German aircraft back in 1941. The ship rests in the Red Sea at a depth of about 100 feet. In addition to hundreds of motorcycles and cars, there were various ammunition, spare parts, four light armoured personnel carriers, and even two steam locomotives on board. Urban myths about hidden treasure beauties in Evanston, Illinois. The car wasn't discovered by chance either. In fact, it's a family relic that the owner abandoned for many years and remembered about it only in 2016. Of course, restoring it took quite a lot of effort, but it was definitely worth it. On average, such cars are now estimated at about $300,000. While on duty, law enforcement officers often find something unusual at crime scenes, but some things can stop. The guys from the Netherlands saw this vehicle during their trip. Some believe that this is an American Bell UH-1 Huey helicopter, produced in the 50s of the 20th century. Share in the comments if you know what kind of model it is. They say seek and ye shall find. However, sometimes it doesn't happen quite like you expect. The guy who filmed this video is Ed, and his hobby is treasure hunting on the beaches with a metal detector. During one of his usual patrols, Ed found something more substantial than just a couple of coins. Oh, hell no. Nah, I'm his werewolf's way. Oh, man. No way. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Oh, man, there's over 100 grand here. Ah, oh, God. According to the lucky guy, there are more than $100,000 in a bundle. A very impressive booty. The only question is, how they ended up in this backwater? Maybe they fell from a pirate ship, or they were even intended as a bribe to Poseidon. Just imagine how cool it would be to find a completely abandoned place that looks like a small town in the post-apocalyptic era. An old Fiat. Got an old beetle. Wow, an old Merc. An old C fifteen van. The guy who filmed this video got lucky. He actually stumbled upon an extremely scenic site with a bunch of abandoned cars and also a real helicopter. As the adventurer said, almost all of the cars were locked. Who knows, maybe the owner left this place in a hurry. An excellent location for filming a movie or a themed photo shoot. Or is there some creepy story behind all this? And it's better not to stay here for a long time. What do you think? That time when an unusual find can become not only a pleasant surprise, but also prove to be quite useful in life, provided it's discovered by really crafty guys.
a metal detector is an extremely useful thing. Thanks to it, these two managed to find and dig up a Jawa motorcycle in the forest. They made these bikes in Czechoslovakia back in 1929. After seeing this, you'll most likely envy all book dealers and librarians of the world. Tell us, do you also have a habit of hiding cash in books? For more than 30 years, people of the French region of Brittany have been seeing weird things on the coast of the ocean. They saw plastic Garfield phones. Why were these bright orange phones washed up on the shore for so many years? Maybe this is some kind of strange message from marine creatures. Well, everything's a bit simpler than that. In the 80s of the last century, a shipping container full of phones shaped like a cartoon character sank in those waters. A giant metal container is stuck in a hard-to-reach cave at a depth. Most of the phones have already been scattered all over the ocean, much to the bitter regret of eco-activists. Now, Garfield phones in France are a symbol of environmental pollution by plastic waste. The next find is not shrouded in a veil of secrecy, and isn't even scary, but it's definitely one of the most pleasant ones. That is the surprise the employees of the Liberty Hall Museum in New Jersey found when they decided to renovate the building in 2017. There were about a hundred bottles of Madeira in the old cellar, a sweet fortified wine that was left there at the end of the 18th century. Turns out the room was hidden behind a wall of plywood and plaster. It was built during the days of the Prohibition in the United States, for obvious reasons. Experts believe that the cost of one of such bottles ranges from ten to twenty-five thousand dollars. How to quickly and easily get a million You might think that this video was sponsored by Apple. Ooh, Abel, come here. Come here. Found a phone. Uh, ah, cold, cold, ah, cold. Oh, Yay! Cool. <laughs> iPhone. iPhone. It's a nice one too, huh? Yeah. But this is what actually happened. This man loves to explore the reservoirs for all sorts of rarities with his son. This time, they managed to find an iPhone 7 under a crust of ice. It had seen that this is not such an impressive achievement, but the fact is that the time spent at the bottom of the river didn't stop the gadget from functioning like usual. The scene you least expect to see when you go swimming. Although you probably won't have to unless you're a professional diver. This car graveyard is located about 164 feet deep in a quarry in North Wales. As scuba divers assume, about 30 to 40 stolen cars are buried here, and some of them are over 50 years old. Someone simply has to put skeletons from the anatomy room in the driver's seat for a great diving experience. If you think that it's simply impossible not to notice such a colossus in an open space, you are right, but there was not always an open field in this place. This training ground for the crews of the Royal Air Force of Britain was discovered in 2004 when trees were cut down. During the Cold War, it was supposed to become an airfield for 60 more planes like this. But the project was never completed, so the place was used exclusively for starting engines and testing electronics. Warning! After seeing this video, you may feel an irresistible urge to turn the house upside down and break the walls in the apartment.
Even if you've been living in the same house for many years and have never come across something unusual, don't give up just yet. The story of Jonathan Bostock will give you some hope. This 62-year-old Englishman discovered this eerie structure in his backyard while cutting bushes only 25 years after he moved into the place. The 12-foot-tall structure was supposedly built in the middle of the 18th century. It's made of bricks decorated with oyster shells, as well as the teeth and bones of cows and sheep. The aristocrats of that time had a weird idea of beauty, don't you think? A time capsule you definitely wouldn't want to find near your home. This German high-explosive bomb was accidentally discovered in a tiny Belarusian village during land reclamation. Fortunately, the excavator driver immediately handed over the dangerous treasure to experts, who later took the ammunition with a blast radius of 558 feet and a weight of one ton to a special landfill. Who knows what other terrible artifacts rest under our feet? Imagine living in an ordinary house and not even suspecting that behind some of the walls there may be your personal sauna with a jacuzzi. We only hope that the owner won't meet a ghost walking around his house in a bathrobe. Another example of how an ordinary idea to renovate a place can lead to incredible discoveries. In May 2022, during a renovation, a family from Germany suddenly discovered that the bathroom and storage room in their house were actually part of a van. Yes, the old Ford was literally integrated into the building, and the residents didn't even notice it. As for how it ended up there, there is one very convincing theory. There used to be a place to relax by the lake, and the van was part of a canopy structure, which was later turned into a fully-fledged house. The history behind the discovery of this historical value is so surprising that it's difficult to believe that it actually happened. When Chris and Colleen Ochasek bought a house in California in 2013, they couldn't even imagine what a bonus they would get. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cool! Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, the things you find during inspections. What at first looked like a hole in the backyard turned out to be a way down into a real bunker 15 feet deep. Inside, there was canned food, clothes, medicine, personal hygiene items, and even entertainment in the form of magazines. Enough for four people to spend a couple of weeks here. Turns out the underground shelter was built by the former owner, nuclear engineer Alvin Kaufman, in 1961 to stay safe from radioactive fallout in the event of war. By the way, the current owners don't intend to change anything and want to leave the bunker for the next generations. 
A guy moves into a new apartment in a luxurious Victorian house and stumbles upon a strange trap door in the floor that leads to the eerie catacombs of an abandoned monastery. Sounds like a plot of a typical horror movie. Well, that is actually a real story that happened to a guy from the UK. The walls of this dungeon are painted with graffiti, and in the corner, the guy found a newspaper from the last century and the so-called bed, which looks like a crypt. It's like a brick seat or bed. This all looks a lot like scenes from Dark Souls in real life. What do you think? We turn back. Each fisherman has his own idea of a good catch, especially if they use unlikely baits, like a neodymium magnet. With its help, treasure hunters fish out not just piles of scrap metal from the water, but also rather curious gizmos that can interest both historians and avid collectors. It's <laughs> Finding a shell with an unusual shape on the beach is certainly great, but what about the shell of a giant armadillo that lived before the Ice Age? In 2019, fishermen stumbled upon a strange rock in the sands of Argentina. The experts concluded that this is the tough arm of a glyptodon, a representative of the megafauna who lived more than 10,000 years ago. The most amazing thing is how well it was preserved. The shell was almost intact, with the exception of a small hole, which doesn't happen every day. As is often the case with extraordinary finds, the origin of this mysterious boat breaking up on the rocks was immediately shrouded in mystery. Personally, we bet that it's part of the Mandalorian fleet. What do you think? Well, were you surprised today? Share which discovery you found most impressive. Share your stories as well, and don't forget to give us a like before leaving. See you in the next one.